Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be doing a little bit of Black History Month stuff now, and then we're going to come back to it in a couple of weeks because we have Jazz History Month, which kind of ties in with this in April. So we will come back to doing some more of this, but we're going to do a little bit this week. You should have just done your welcome song, and now we are going to do our brain break. So go ahead and stand up. Make sure you have some room. That's one of my favorite ones. Go ahead and have a seat. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Why am I making you breathe? Do you know? Because I want you to calm your heart rate because we want a slow, steady beat. So if you put your hand over your heart and you can feel it and it's going crazy, we want a slow to dump, to dump. The dump and by breathing and controlling our breathing, we can slow our heart rate down. So go ahead and breathe in one more time through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathing is a good exercise to do too when you're angry or you just need to calm down. Breathing exercises are great. 
All right, so we're going to do a rhythm play along, and it is a snow day one because I absolutely love snow, but Georgia hardly ever gets it. So, got to have snow one way or another. So, let's do this. All right, we got shushes, whoops, shushes, tas, and tts. Quarter. I bet you did a great job. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. So we are going to, whoops, today by the end of class, you'll be able to say, I can recall information about our composer of the week. And we're going to learn about our composer in Quaver because we're doing a Quaver lesson today. And his name is Otto Gross. I can explain the importance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Black History Month. I can discuss the life and accomplishments of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I can play or clap. He had a dream. I can choose words to describe what we learned today. All right, so we're going to jump over to Quaver. We're going to listen to a little bit of this because we're going to sing it later. We'll listen to some more of that. I know it's really catchy. I like it too. So we're going to meet Dr. Martin Luther King, and you've probably been talking about him in your classes already. Okay, but he lived, he was born January 15th, 1929, and he passed away April 4th, 1968. And... 
guess what? He's from Atlanta, Georgia. So he is from our area, not too far from here. Okay. We're going to read a little bit of this. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and the driving force behind the American Civil Rights Movement. His activism, speeches, and method of nonviolent resistance were key in the passage of the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act. And you've hopefully been talking a little bit about that in your regular classes as well. A couple of more facts. Dr. King was named Man of the Year by Time Magazine in 1963. And there are at least 955 streets in the United States named after him and over a thousand named after him worldwide. So that's pretty cool. Dr. King worked very hard in school. He skipped both ninth and 12th grades in high school and started college when he was only 15 years old. That means he was really smart guys. I can't imagine going to college at 15. Dr. King had an older sister, Christine, a younger brother, Alfred, and four children of his own, Martin III, Dexter, Yolanda, and Bernice. Okay, some accomplishments. In 1963, he led the March on Washington where he gave his famous I Have a Dream speech at the Lincoln Memorial. So you've probably heard the I Have a Dream speech before in your regular classrooms as well. Here's a quote that he said. So a quote is taking something that someone said. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. I love that quote. It's very, very roadrunner ready. Tell us something about you that's important. If we were together, I would love to hear this. Um, since we may not all be together right now, I would love for you to send me a message in the chat at the end of our lesson and tell me something important about you, okay? And you can tell me how you persuade others to feel the same way as you do. So this is not something you have to do and you don't need to do it right now, but this is something at the end of our lesson and you're done with your exit ticket, you wanna send me a message and tell me something important about you, I would love to hear that. I love being able to talk to you guys and get messages. All right, so we're gonna learn our song. Okay, and you heard a little bit of it. The beginning goes, hey everybody, let me talk about Dr. Martin Luther King, can you do that with me? Hey, everybody, let me talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. Very good. All right, let's do it together. I may have gone a little too high on that. Yeah? Okay, then it's gonna go, he fought for equality and letting freedom ring. Okay? He fought for equality and letting freedom ring. All right, do you think you can sing that beginning? That whole part, here we go. See if you can follow along with this. If you're struggling, don't worry. We're going to learn the chorus part together. And that's the only part you have to sing. Dr. King, a truly great man and a leader for civil rights. Fought against prejudice every day and night. Break it down now. Dr. King, Dr. King, Dr. King, Martin Luther King. All right, so if you're struggling with the words, this is your part then. You're just going to sing, Dr. King, Dr. King, Martin. King. Can you do that with me? Dr. King, Dr. King, Martin Luther King. And the little X2 means you do it two times. So you'll do it again. Let's do it with them. He went to the mountaintop and said he had a dream where every man had equal rights and opportunities. Yeah. He made a commitment. He 
to sleep. For now we all know the true meaning of liberty. Yeah. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream that one day we would be judged not by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. Dr. King, Dr. King, Dr. King, Martin Luther King, Dr. King, Dr. King, Martin Luther King. All right, that song is going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the day, so you're welcome. But I really enjoyed singing it with you. Only if you could only get the chorus, that is totally okay, guys. And you are more than welcome to go back and listen to it and learn the whole song. We just don't have time today, but I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. So now we're going to meet a composer, and he is the composer who wrote the song we just sang. So how cool is that? I think Dr. King is important to everybody because he changed history in a lot of ways. Specifically, he's important to me because I am afforded opportunities people weren't afforded 80 years ago. The change that he fought for directly impacts me in many ways. He had a dream started as some incredible music teachers. One specifically, his name is David Gordon. And we were working through some different ideas on writing this song for Black History Month. David played this groove and it went like this. And he just kind of played that over and over again. And that sent my mind into probably eight million directions. And the first thing that actually came to me was the chant. I'm thinking stomps and claps, things like that. Things that get you really excited about something that momentous. So I came up with Dr. King, Dr. King. Martin Luther King. So I started with the chant there. In terms of the note choices for the song, we combined that happy sound with the bluesy sound of the gospel church back then. When I was doing research for the song, I was looking at pictures of the march on Washington. Everyone is super excited. Everyone is into it. And they're just really, really passionate about what's going on that day. When people do these incredible things, you just write it down and then make it rhyme. So, some of the things I just put in there. Hey, everybody, let me talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. He fought for equality and letting freedom ring. Dr. King, a truly great man and a leader for civil rights. Fought against prejudice every day and night. Then everybody goes, Dr. King, Dr. King. Martin Luther King. See, that kind of stuff, it gets me really, really excited because you get to groove, you're hearing all of these different things, and then you're feeling, hopefully, the, the desire for, for the songwriter is that you're feeling the passion that people might have felt that day. For anybody that wants to be creative, whether it's songwriting or producing music, whatever it is, I would say collaborate with as many people as you can. Study people that have written some of your favorite songs. Read lots of books, read a lot of poetry, read lots of song lyrics. And outside of that, don't be afraid of trying anything. Be brave and try everything. All right, I thought that was super cool. I really loved how he explained how to be a composer because maybe you're like, you know, I think I want to be a composer. I want to write music for musicians. And he kind of explained it to you guys. You know, it's sometimes it's not just you. It's you working with other people and getting inspired by hearing things from other people and then putting it together. And I think that was really cool. So I really enjoyed learning about Mr. Gross, I enjoyed hearing how he wrote the song and he took the inspiration for Dr. from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I thought that was very neat. All right, so we are going to do, we are not going to use this, unfortunately, but we are going to do some stomping and clapping. I really want, hold on, give me just a second. Okay, I guess it's not going to break it down for me. So this looks scary, probably. It looks very scary, but it's not. We're not going to look at this stuff. We're not going to look at this stuff. We're just going to look here. And we see ta, 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 ta. Can you say that with me? Ta, 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 ta. Do you notice that one ta is really low and one ta is really high? Well, if you see a low one, you're going to stomp your foot. And if you see a high one, you're going to clap your hands. So if you were doing this, you would stomp, 
clap. Okay. So can you do that with me? This is a measure. Let's do that one measure together. One, two, ready, go. Stop, clap, stop, clap. Very good. So this is one, two, three, four. We're going to do that for four measures. Can you do that with me? Ready, go. Stop, clap, 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 stop, clap. Stop, clap. Very good. Now, do you see these two little dots? Those two little dots say to repeat. That means do it again. So we're going to do it again. Ready, go. Stop, clap, 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 stop, clap. Pretty easy, right? Oh, no, Miss Kaiser, what is all of this? All right, so it's not that scary. We got to stop clap and then you're like what is this well those are 16th notes and eighth notes and we know eighth notes are tts but these are tikas so it's like a tika t which sounds that sounds scary right so instead we're just going to say blueberry isn't that easier blueberry or oh I'm my goodness i said it backwards bubble gum wrong rhythm my bad guys this is bubble gum and you say bubble gum bubble gum I did the reverse of it. I apologize. So bubble gum. So we've got stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. Can you say that with me? Stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. Do that one more time. We're just saying it. Stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. All right, now we're going to stomp and we're going to clap. But then on your desk in front of you, I want you to tap bubble gum. Can you do that with me? Ready, go. Bubble gum. Not bad. Let's do it one more time. Bubble gum. One more time. Go. Bubble gum. All right. So I want you to go stop, clap, bubble gum. And just stop right there. Ready, go. Stop, clap, bubble gum. Not bad. Thumbs up. You got it. Thumbs down. You did not get it at all. Thumbs sideways. You almost got it. All right. Let's try again. Ready? Stop, clap, bubble gum. All right, now we're going to add a clap at the end. So you're going to have stop, clap, bubble gum, clap. Let's do that in slow motion. Ready, stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. All right, let's do that one more time in slow motion. Stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. All right, now let's do it a little bit faster. Stomp, clap. Bubble gum clap a little bit faster. Stomp, clap, bubble gum clap a little bit faster. Stomp, clap, bubble gum clap. Thumbs up, you got it. Thumbs down, you don't know what we're doing. Thumbs sideways, you're somewhere in between. All right, if you need to, you can pause the video and keep practicing it. Just back it up a little bit. But we're going to move on. So you've got stomp, clap, bubble gum clap, stomp, clap, bubble gum. So you do it twice. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Ready, go. All right, then you see those two little dots. Those little dots mean what? Repeat. So we have to do it again. Ready, go. Clap, bubble gum, clap. Stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. All right. Then we finish. Look. Oh, we get to take a break. Those are rests, and it means you rest. You don't have to play anything. Whew. All right. You ready to do our, our um, stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap, and do the whole song? All right. Here we go. It's going to start with your stomp, clap, bubble gum, clap. Here we go. Everybody let me talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. He fought for equality and letting freedom ring. Dr. King, a truly great man and a leader for civil rights. All right, did you catch, guys, that it switched to stomp, clap after that beginning? I just wanted to make sure, okay, because we're now stomp clapping. So it, it starts out with stomp, clap, bubblegum, clap. 
but then it switches. Stop, clap. So make sure you switch over because I'm not sure everybody did. Here we go. Two, ready, go. All right, get ready to switch. Here we go. Hey, everybody, let me talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. He fought for equality and letting freedom ring. Dr. King, a truly great man and a leader for civil rights, fought against prejudice every day and night. Ah, Dr. King. guys you are reading music like a musician you read actual music on a screen and you performed rhythms that is a huge accomplishment and i am so proud of you guys that is awesome all right so um here's a couple of other quotes that he has and justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word in reality. All right. So we're not gonna do too much with this today. But I did want to talk a little bit about our notes, and you've probably seen these symbols before. This is not a hashtag. <laughs> this is a sharp. This is a flat and not the letter B in music. It's a flat and this is a natural. OK, and each of these tell the musician what to do. They're called accidentals, which I've never understood because they're not in there by accident. They're in there on purpose. So in my mind, they should be called on purposes. And that's a terrible joke, but it's the truth but they are called accidentals, okay? And they tell the musician to make the note flat, to make the note sharp, or to make the note natural. And you're saying, okay, Ms. Kaiser, I don't understand what that means. So a flat will make the pitch, the note, go down a half a step. Kind of like if you have a flat tire. If you have a flat tire, does the tire blow up and get bigger or does it lower and flatten out? Yeah, it lowers. So a flat lowers the sound. So take a listen. Did you hear it? Could you go, hey, hey, flat, it went lower. You hear that? A sharp makes the sound, guess what? Go up. How do you remember that? If you have Legos sitting on the floor, and you don't pay attention to them and you're walking and you step on a Lego, do you just grind your foot back in and say, oh, that feels great? Or do you raise your foot up? Yeah, you raise your foot up. So a sharp makes you raise the sound up. So we're gonna hear it go to a sharp. You hear that? Hey, A sharp, it goes a little higher. So here's a flat. Go down, go up, 
and a natural brings it back to what it should be. So this is from a sharp back to a natural. It's natural is kind of like who you are naturally. I can dress up as something, but at the end of the day, when I take my costume off, I'm Miss Kaiser, I'm back to me. So it could go to a sharp, but it won't, if you want to bring it back to its natural self, you need the natural sign. Same thing if you have a flat, you got to bring it back to what it naturally was. So here's an example. Okay, natural is a little more confusing than sharp and flat, but it'll make sense over time. And a key signature is when we use sharps and flats to tell the musician which notes to push. If I added a sharp or a flat, I could change that entire scale. Do, re, me, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Maybe I add a couple of more. Do, re, me, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So adding different sharps and flats changes the sound of the scale. I hope you could hear that. I know I'm not a vocalist. All right, so you can hear it. Here's a flat. Here's a natural, here's a sharp. So this is your note that decides, this is a natural. So anything that's flat has to be lower than that. Here's your natural, here's your sharp, because it goes up. I know that sounds a little confusing, but here's an example of what happens when you add those accidentals. Here's a normal natural chord. Sounds nice and happy, right? Well, now we're going to add a flat to one of those notes. Now it sounds kind of sad because it went down. All right, here's our happy natural. All right, now we're going to add a sharp so it should make it go up. Ooh, that sounds kind of scary. But can you hear how it changes the sound? So that's what we use those accidentals for. You can hear it in voice too. You can do it in a violin. You hear natural, flat makes you go lower, natural, sharp makes you go higher. Okay, so that's what accidentals are used for. And we're not going to do too much more with that right now. It's just an introduction and um, now you can say, hey, that's not a hashtag, that's a sharp. Or that's not a baby B, that's a flat. And that silly symbol is a natural, and they're called accidentals, except they're on purpose. I know, I know, I gotta let it go. All right, so after our lesson today, you should be able to say, I can recall information about our composer of the week that we learned about, Mr. Otto Gross, and I thought he was really cool. You can explain some of the importance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Black History Month. We learned all sorts of facts and sang about them. I can discuss the life and accomplishments of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Whoops, I had a typo in there. I apologize. He was kind, though, so we'll go with that. I can play or clap because we did some, some body percussion to the I Had a Dream song. And I can choose words to describe what we learned today. We also learned about flats, sharps, and naturals. All you have to do is, oops answer well i guess i didn't put it on there all you have to do is answer the exit ticket at the end of the lesson Here, i'll write it out for you so that you have it i'm sorry i did not mean to forget to put it up there here we go all right so just answer the exit ticket at the end of the lesson and that is all you need to do today i hope you have a wonderful day if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me i hope you have a great week